where I'm going to look for the reservoir for a 2008 PT Cruiser. Look at all these beautiful cars. And I'm going to go to row 47. Which... <laughs> arms. But look at all this stuff. <laughs> so what you get when you go to an auto junkyard, right? You get crushed cars over there. <laughs> Scraps right there. Holy Toledo. I'm already going to give this place a five-star review on Google. Just for the simple fact that <laughs> it's better than pick and pull. There's also another auto graveyard. And they wanted $16 for the piece I needed. And this place only wanted like $6 for it. Now let's help the little bastard out, right? And here's row 47. Where I can find the piece I need, I am hoping. <laughs> well. Here's the PT Cruiser. <sighs> Let's see, you don't have to pop the hood. There we go. And there's a piece I need right there. And look at this, there's an intake manifold. There's your power steering, your radiator, your oil. That's actually a bad looking little engine right there. I need to get that out, which means I gotta take all this crap right here out and get it out of my way. So let's see how that works. And look at how chewed up that is inside. Look at that, it's like they stole almost everything from inside that car, wow. But back over here, Okay now. Okay, you got that disconnected. Don't need that. That's for the uh, wiper fluid. Don't need that. I hope I think I have that size socket right there to get this piece out. But something tells me. Give me a socket. Well, thank God I got me some, huh? And a nice little impact driver with batteries. But I mean, look at this. I mean, well, you got some, you got still some good tires on here. <laughs> you got shitty cars. <laughs> Oh my gosh, not another PT. Is that a PT Cruiser right there too? It looks like it is, oh my god, no way. I might, ooh yeah, that looks like that one actually worked perfectly for me. Look at that bad boy. Oh yeah, I might have to take that one. But let's try and get the other one out first because if you look, here's the coolant, here's the radiator, here's the intake manifold. Here's all the relays and shit like that. Wow, that's not gonna come out at all. 
but oh well let's get to work shall we and as you can see i got one side of the brake master cylinder well a brake line out this goes for the driver's side and as you can see it's dripping pretty good because there was actually brake fluid inside the brake master cylinder that side's a pain in the butt but i got to get that out so i can get all the way back in there make sure yeah right back there see that screws right back there i have to get all the way back in there to make this happen so let's see what i can do well at this wonderful wonderful car graveyard where i found pt cruiser pt cruiser crashed out uh, i don't know what that one is oh it's a dodge pt cruiser pt cruiser um i have no idea what this one is yeah pt cruiser pt cruiser but yet i did not come prepared with all the parts as you can see they're getting ready to close so well this is the this is the guard the car graveyard i might have to come back and come prepared with better parts because they don't have some deep sockets and I need some deep sockets. So until next time, my YouTube fans, stick, to, stick with me and I'll take you to another, another car graveyard where you can see all the wonderful crap we have here in Utah. Well, I just didn't have the necessary tools to actually get them out. I need a deep socket to get some bolts off for the um, brake master cylinder reservoir. And then as far as the um, ignition uh, coil, <laughs> as you saw, some of these places, some of these cars are completely trashed out. But hey, I saw some ignition coils there that were pretty gnarly. So I'm probably just going to have to buy a new reservoir as well as a new ignition coil. But I'm going to go take another junk uh, car graveyard out and we'll see what happens. Until next time, man.